Hey guys, it's Gus here again. I'm back with another mini little vlog. Uh, I'm losing track of time because you know when you have time off work and basically, you know, you used to work in Monday to Friday, etc. You have time off and it just messes completely. I have no idea what day it is. But what I do know is yesterday I went to Alton Towers, which to, to anyone in the UK, they'll know Alton Towers. Uh, anyone out of the UK. Basically, Alton Towers is the UK's number one theme park. Now we have a few others. In fact, to be fair, considering that the UK is quite small compared to some countries, we do have some pretty good theme parks with pretty good rides in, but nothing beats Alton Towers. Um, so I went there yesterday and uh, managed to ride the new, brand new ride. Um, they've got a wooden roller coaster. Now, previously at Alton Towers, they've got a thing where they, every time they bring a new coaster out, it has to be, has to have a world's first. Um, so we had the world's first vertical drop roller coaster and um, we had the, the, the world's first drop, um, what's it called? You know where the actual track drops um, and things like that, they're just a few. And I think a few years ago we had the Smiler, which was the world's first uh, roller coaster with 14 inversions. Now I don't know if that's been beaten at the moment, but yeah, that is pretty, pretty immense. So, so this one um, is actually not a world's first, it's more like their first. And what it was, it was their first wooden roller coaster. So the park uh, for years has had a, a log flume, a very long log flume. I never went on it, uh, but looking at the thing, it, it was, most of it was spent like a lot of log flumes, just kind of floating around. And uh, it looked pretty boring, so I never went on it. Um, but people seem to like it, so yeah. But anyway, it got old and they got rid of it last year, I think, um, and started building this new wooden roller coaster um, in there. Now, the new wooden roller coaster is called Wicker Man and it features a gigantic piece of theming. It's like this Wicker Man structure thing. One side of it's got a face of, of a person, the other side's got kind of a ram. And uh, so, yeah, that was hyped up, so I thought I've got to go and ride that. But also, while I'm at it, I'll ride. The Smiler because I'd not rode that before um, because there was actually a crash that happened on it and um, I think two people had to have their one of their legs amputated each um, which was pretty bad I think it was down to human error um, like the ride basically what happened is the um, they sent a test car out because they're having issues and it's got two sections now, I don't know if you know but roller coasters have um, blocks as they call them so what they'll do, they'll have a, a section of the track uh, and they'll have brake sections. And what happens is it's split into blocks. So say if a, a car goes up the first lift hill, goes around the first bit, gets to the second. Now the car can be on the second bit of the track and they'll let another, a, you know, another, um, another ride car go because the sensors know that the first one that got sent out is in the other half of the track. So what it'll do is if that's not finished, when the first one gets to the next block of brakes, it'll stop them temporarily until the other one's gone, basically to avoid crashes. So what happened is they, they were having a few issues, I'm not sure what, um, and for safety reasons, I think what happened is they sent a uh, test car around and it got past the first bit onto the second bit and it basically came down a, an inversion and it came to a halt um, because obviously they're gravity driven, didn't have enough speed, um, so kind of rolled back into this kind of dip part of the ride, and uh, which was fine. They sent another one around the first bit. This one had people on, because they were like, oh, okay, the test one's going around okay. Um, what happened though, instead of them stopping at the second run, uh, someone actually overrid it and let that one go as well, and it ended up crashing into the, the test one. Um, so it was human error, but yeah, we won't dwell on that too much. So anyway, yeah, I went to went went to Alton Towers, but I'm gonna go on it. It was a uh, absolutely mental. Like the first section's got the first seven inversions, the second section's got the, the other seven, obviously. And <laughs> coming out of the first section, waiting to go into the second, genuinely felt dizzy. Now I'm good with coasters. I can't do flat rides. They make me feel sick. You know the ones that spin you around. But genuinely. I, I'm glad there was a break in the middle because my head was like, oh, I can't, I, I literally had to work out where the hell I was, um, but it was good. Um, anyway, onto the new one, uh, the Wicker Man. Um, 
it was just, it, it was absolutely mental. Only a wooden roller coaster and people go, oh, just is that it? Um, didn't go upside down or anything, but the force you got on that coaster absolutely blew me away. Like I didn't expect it to be so intense as it was. Um, it's got various theming elements. It's themed around a uh, kind of a village, and they're going to do a sacrifice to the Wicker Man. But it turns out you are the sacrifice, kind of riding the ride. So there's uh, flame effects on top of it. There's fake flame effects as well. Because I know people were going, oh well, that's a bit stupid. A wooden roller coaster, and they're putting fire on it. Well, obviously they're not going to be together. Are they? They're not like going to set on fire. Um, <laughs> so yeah, really good coaster. The whole area was themed. Like the, the queue area had um, like bits of bunting around um, as if you were in a little village and you actually queued up in the middle. If you, luckily we had a walk on ride, well not walk on, probably a 15, 15 minute queue, which is nothing. As many of you that have been to theme parks now, 15 minutes, nothing compared to some queues. Um, yeah, but you are actually in, like the coaster's going past, literally like you're stood next to the fence and the coaster's going right past you at most of the parts of the queue. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, went and did that, and at the moment they have a. Uh, let me try and get it out while I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand. Um, at the moment they're doing an offer where if you pay full entry, which not a lot of people do because they buy online and you get a discount online. Same with most parks, you go there on. If you just kind of went there on the day, went to the door, they charge you a certain price. Um, but if you buy online, it's cheaper. So what they're doing is you pay full price and they turn your ticket into a season pass which means you can go to that park only um, for the rest of the season for nothing. So I thought, you know what, that's worth paying for. So, I got myself a season pass. That's not gonna focus, but yeah, very exciting. So I do hope to, to kind of go there as much as I possibly can. Obviously, I've got to get there first. It's only a few hours away, but we had to get the train and then a taxi because the bus wasn't running. So could get pretty expensive, but Hopefully I find other people that, that want to go with me. Um, so yeah, I was, I was so excited about that. Now I've been following the, um, the construction of this coaster for a while. A bit of a roller coaster geek, uh, especially when it comes to Walton Towers, because they just do a cracking job. And uh, so what I thought I'd do is I'd get a new tattoo, not specifically for the ride, um, but I wanted a new tattoo. I'd got some birthday money and with the marketing of it, in fact, there's some on here. I don't know if you can see at the top if it's actually going to focus. Come on. Can you focus? I'm going to try. You still can't see that very well. I'll probably put a picture on screen. There's a, there's rooms at the top, which obviously, because it's meant to be like a little village, like medieval type thing, there's loads of signs with these rooms on. And I thought, they look really good. So what people have done, is they actually translated from all the promo material, they translated the alphabet of these rooms. So I thought, oh, I'll get a tattoo of some of those, I'll make a word that ties in with magic a little bit. So I wrote magic out, didn't really, I didn't like the look of the rooms themselves, because at the end of the day, it's going on my body, I want it to look cool. So I thought, oh, I'll write out the word wonder. And the, the, the kind of, the rooms looked really good for wonder, so, here we have it, I don't know how well I'm gonna pick this up. There we go. So I have Wonder tattooed on my arm. Now it looks like I've done it in Sharpie compared to the others. Um, it is real. <laughs> but because I only got it done like the day before yesterday, it's still pretty fresh, it's still healing. Um, so yeah, kind of a bit of a geeky tattoo, but you know, combining two two of my, my, uh, my loves together. Um, yeah, so that was that was really, really good. So what I'll do now, I'll, I'll chuck up a few ride photos here, there, somewhere. They'll appear on the screen anyway, like magic. Um, yeah, so what I did is also they have a, um, obviously you can buy ride photos, tend to be about seven pound each, or they do three for so much or whatever. It can get pretty expensive, especially if you're not liking the ride photos, you, you're only gonna pick a few. Um, but they had a, a thing where you could get a pass, like a wristband with a barcode on, like a digital pass. And basically you just got every photo, every time you scanned it, you got that photo digitally. You could have them printed as well, um, but digitally. Now that was 30 pound, which was fairly expensive, but I said to my overall, I'm like, well, if I buy that, we can go on any ride, 
any rerides we have, we'll just get all the photos and you know, we'll get some good photos. Um, so yeah, we got one of, of no, well, every ride that we went on that had a ride photo, that we got the ride photo for, which was, uh, actually I'd say it's probably well worth it. Um, I wouldn't have probably got half of those photos, if not, uh, but I did do. And I, I just like ride photos. You know, it's just that memory of the day kind of thing. Um, did notice on one of them though, <laughs> that they'd not changed the graphics. So, uh, so yeah, um, one of them says 2017 on it. They need to update that. It's not 2017. <laughs> that was one from yesterday, but yeah, they got it wrong. Uh, now, Nemesis, um, a coaster, I think it's 20, don't get me wrong, 22, 23 year old now. Still running really well. Probably one of the best, best coasters. Um, it's still running really smoothly, they keep it maintained and everything. Uh, our ride photo on that was uh, the ride number made me laugh. So you go to the you know, you go to the screens and you tell them which number yours is, they show it you on the screen, you get it, whatever. Um, and the number for that photo was actually a six six six, which I found really amusing, especially because Nemesis is about it's themed around the Nemesis monster. And obviously, 666, number of the beast. So I said to the ride, uh, the, um, the photo guy, and they were laughing. I'm like, that is the best number to have a ride photo ever. So uh, that amused me probably more than it should. But yeah, I got the uh, 666 photo. Um, <laughs> so yeah. And uh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it's just me ranting on about it. You can tell I'm getting excited now just thinking about it. But I absolutely love that place. Hence why I got a season pass. <laughs> I'm going to go in there a hell of a lot, if I can. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was a quick vlog with some bit of randomness in. But uh, yeah, I'm still pumped over it, so I thought I'd make a video of it. And if you're in the UK, if you live in the UK, and if you've not been there yet, or you've been there but you've not been on the new ride yet, um, go on it, it's well worth it. Like, there's a pre-show bit as well, telling you the story, that bit, the effects and things absolutely blew me away I, w I wasn't expecting that i knew it had a pre-show bit but that was just mental and uh yeah and if you're outside the uk and you come to the uk alton towers it's in staffordshire near a little village called alton believe it or not it's a, an amazing park really good selection of rides um and if you like history in the gardens um the towers are actually I wouldn't say a castle, but kind of a stately home that's kind of in ruins. In fact, there's a ride in part of it as well, themed to it, which is really good, called Hex. Highly recommend it. So yeah, just go to all the towers, it's awesome. Anyway, I'll leave you with that because I know this is really long. Probably not gonna be that edited. So I apologize for you having to sit there listening to me just rabbit on and stuff. And, uh, and yeah, anyway, I will see you in the next vlog. Enjoy.